it's your girl Deborah Vanessa, aka Sister Deborah, aka Sister Derby, aka Uncle Obama. And I'm here at KOD's party. All I want to say is keep watching, log on on Clapperboard. Alright, now so KOD is turning 35 and he's celebrating his birthday at Rhapsody's here in Accra Mall. But before we go in to check out what has been going on in there, we want you to check out this interview that we had with him. He told us a little bit about himself and how far he's come in the entertainment industry. So after that interview, we're going to get back here and then we're going to go inside, talk to a few people, uh, talk to a few celebrities and also people that came here to, you know, give him goodwill messages. We're going to talk to all of them right here on Logon. So do not go anywhere. Enjoy the interview. Hello, my name is Kofi Yotre Dakon. I'm a broadcast journalist with Radio Gold 90.5 FM. I've been doing that for um, about 16 years now, since 1997. Um, I'm a father of two, married to a pretty lady, Ophelia Crossland, who's a fashion designer. I also have a fashion line called 1957. Why 1957 is because um, I really believe in um, liberation. You know, my label uh, is a kind of label that one whoever feels very liberated fashion wise should wear coming saturday that's tomorrow is actually my birthday i'm turning 35 and uh, you know we're celebrating in a very grand style with all my friends in the media my friends in showbiz those i've produced over the years like prior the forian ponsens um, book back 4x4 and all those guys they're all going to be there in their numbers you know to celebrate with me and these guys decided that well if it's your 35th birthday we've been part of you from day one why not let's all get together you know with a live band we're playing jam we're jamming with you at um, Rhapsody's nightclub so that's what it is now quite a number of people are actually going to pay to be part of that one but it's because I've decided to also raise funds 35th birthday to raise funds for um, you know the unfortunate children especially those who are born prematurely so I'm um, buying incubators for the Insawem Hospital, you know, to take care of the children who are born prematurely. That's what I'm doing for my 35th birthday. Well, it's pretty interesting, my rise to fame. Um, well, back then I wasn't doing television. I was a production assistant on a very popular TV show that was um, hosted by my mentor, Christy Chey Dakwa, KKD. Back in the 90s, it was called KKD45. I was a production assistant on the show and also worked with this company called KDS. And uh, I was a copywriter. After that, I worked um, for a very brief time with um, Adiva Shirt Shop. You know, they were into selling um, clothes. And then uh, from there, I moved on to Radio Gold 90.5, where I've been working, working till date. Um, um, I started with um, Fifi Banson, Shirley Frimpon Manson, Crazy Anime J, um, uh, Kwame Sifakai, BB Mason, The Virus. These were people who were there before me. So they really helped me along, along the way to, um, or should I say, stardom, if that's what you want to hear <laughs> well and then um, as I worked on radio I, I always had a passion for um, for the music industry so I started working with musicians like Oforian Ponsa I was working with musicians like um, uh, 4x4 um, I discovered Wuta when they took part of uh, they were part of um, Nescafe African Revelations and also prior when they were part of Nescafe African Revelations I worked with Anna Kwame um, who, Tiny is one guy who actually just walked up to me in the studios of Radio Gold and said hey KOD I'm here I want you to put me on the radio now but hey guess what I want to work with you I want to become a star and we started working it was actually the first thing that I did that was totally different because Tiny um, raps in, in Ga and I was wondering how do I get Tiny to cut across you know the rest of Ghana but we worked very hard and Tiny is a household name now um, right now I'm working with the group D2 and also NY who is uh, like a new sensation in terms of high life musician uh, m music I work with people like um, Kwabna Kwabna the names are endless these people were all part of where I've gotten to today that's why they've decided to be part of um, celebrating KOD at 35 at Rhapsodies well it's, it's been a long way you know I'm still traveling since 1997 um, like I said earlier on I've been part of the success of major uh, musicians in this country right now I'm a very very busy daddy taking care of two daughters Ohima and Nane Freye and um, taking care of uh, 1957 that's my fashion line 
and also I'm the PR manager of my wife Ophelia Crossland who has her own fashion line as well it's actually a total fashion house you know I take care of the men she takes care of the women and um, children we have a, a, a line for, for kids named um, after my daughter Ohema Kids Club so um, for the next uh, five or probably ten years uh, we're looking at growing our brands taking care of our, our children making sure that they grow and um, you know decide to do whatever they want to do and also um, we have a fashion a fashion show that takes place every year it's been incorporated into Ghana's annual independence celebration Solid Rhythms on the Runway it's an annual fashion show uh, we've done three years already we're doing the fourth year this year and we're actually bringing a lot more fashion houses outside you know those who are very close to me we're calling very good friends who are in the fashion industry in Ghana and beyond because I think that um, the show's actually grown bigger than I, I am now. It's um, part of Ghana's annual independence, so it should not be about KOD. It has to be about other people in the fashion industry. Interestingly, I have very good friends and and um, relations, like someone like Ivana. Um, Ivana Ud Couture is um, my, my sister-in-law. She's related to uh, my wife, so she's going to be part of our fashion show this year. And um, all these people are going to be part of celebrating KOD at 35. We're doing something very special. And it's not just about me, but it's about the people that I've been part of, the, the lives that I've impacted on over the years, um, for the past um, 15 or 16 years or so. So we're celebrating KOD at 35, but we're celebrating really people that I have um, been part of over the years. I'm the man, Oskiman, like my Jamaican friends call me, Capella, like my South Africans call me, Mensa. Like my Ghanaians call me Mensa. Like my Ghanaians call me Mensa. Yes, Charlie, that's where we are. It's Don't touch it. If you touch it, you're on a long tin. Clap board. TV. Fla Okay, now I'm sure you enjoyed that interview. Now, first of all, I like to say this for me personally, KOD is actually a legend. He's done a lot in the entertainment industry and a lot for entertainers, upcoming and established. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's Rhapsodies right here where we're going to be having fun inside. You're going to see live performances because I hear that some arts is going to be passing through. People like Saka, the is going to be in the building. John Jermaine is going to be there as well. We have people like Benny Blanco that I just saw and a few other celebrities. So, let's go in and have some fun and uh, when we get back, you're going to be knowing so much more on what Logan has for you for this episode. Don't go anywhere. Rhapsodies was the right venue for Kofi Ochera Dako's birthday party. Popularly known as KOD, he gave us a feel of class, coolness and sweet entertainment. Whenever you hear KOD and events put together, you can be rest assured that it's nothing but the very best in live band entertainment. Though it was quite a different one, it was quite different from the usual of course, the resident DJ of Rhapsodies took a break throughout the night. Commotion, who was the host, was later joined by Ghana's finest, John Dumelo. <laughs> Happy 
KOD and his wife Ophelia open the dance floor, of course, with your moves. Sweet melodious voice of Ades, who was a contestant in the past season of Mentor. Now let's hear what these celebrities had to say about our dear KOD. Okay, still KOD turning 35 right here at Rhapsodies, and uh, I ran into the very, very beautiful. Uncle Obama, Kruna. <laughs> Uncle Obama, that's my new name, right? <laughs> no, okay, can you introduce yourself to the public, please? Sure. Hello, it's Deborah Vanessa, aka Sister Deborah, aka Sister Derby, aka Uncle Obama. <laughs> you know something, before that song came out, I didn't know you were that, you know, off. <laughs> oh, off, off track. Yeah, I'm <laughs> crazy. In a good way. No. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like having fun and just, you know, doing things that are out of the normal, out of the ordinary. That's yeah. Good, that's good. Not too much though, not Lady Gaga out of. Maybe not yet, but yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like a process. Yeah. <laughs> I hope not though. Okay, now KOD is turning 35. Yes. First of all, who is KOD to you personally? Wow, I've known KOD's name has been on the radio, like in the entertainment industry for as long as I can remember, maybe like 15 years, if I'm correct, or even more. And I think, not that I think, I think, I, yeah, I knew KOD when I took part in Miss Malaika 2004. From that time, I knew KOD, and he's very inspiring. He's hardworking, he's determined, and I, I love him so much, because he's so much into fashion, and he just does what he likes. Which I can relate to, but he's a presenter, he's an MC, he's a fashion designer, he's a fashionista, and yeah, as I said, I really admire him because I can relate, and I like people who are creative and eccentric and fun. Now Benny Blanco is finally seated here after I've been trying to get him for an hour. Hey, how you doing? Fine, thank you. Now, how are you enjoying yourself? I'm good, I'm good. You see, the thing was, it took me so long because you guys saw Sarko here. <laughs> Yeah. No, it wasn't that bad. Come yeah, on. it was. It was hard cordia. Mm. <laughs> that he's like, actually. <laughs> okay, now we're here for KOD, right? Yeah, 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 exactly, man. KOD is my man. He hosted my birthday, you know what I mean? So okay. I had to get, make sure that I represented, came along, show my face, show love, and all the rest of it, you know? Okay, now he's been doing a lot in the industry. What would you have to say about that? You know, most of the things he's been doing, he's been doing so much in the entertainment industry. So, what would you say about that generally? KOD is a philanthropist. KOD has managed to put his fingers on almost everything. He's designing, he's singing, he's he's inging, he's he's inging, and he's inging. People is still KOD at 35, still here at Rhapsody, still here at Aqua Mall, where KOD is actually having a very classy birthday party. And I'm here with one of the guests for the evening. Hello. I'm actually one of the organizers. Oops. <laughs> My bad. One of the organizers, one of the organizers right here. Now, good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Okay, now, um, briefly, who is KOD to you? The KOD is a very good friend of mine. Okay. Yeah, we've been together for a long time now. He's been a very good friend of mine. We hang out together. We almost do everything together. Okay. My name is Michael Adumwa, Ghana's premier architect, KOD's exclusive architect. What do you want to know? <laughs> wow, what an intro. I'm saying, I'm the sh I didn't say the rest, so I'm it. 
Okay, right. okay now, um, this is KOD at 35. Yeah. First of all, who is KOD to you? I know you already like did a brief introduction, but who is he to you in detail? He's a personal friend, he's a fashion icon, yeah. he's a musical genius, he's an entertainment god. So, I mean, we all like look up to him for every time there's an event like this, we all follow his, um, his pathway to see what's going to happen. It's been a great party. We've had like three um, celebrities perform already, but it hasn't even started yet, so yeah. we're waiting for Samini and all the rest of them. Okay. Great party. If you're not here, you missed out. Well, you know, happy birthday, bro. You know, 35, you know, we want to see another 35 as successful as you've been. You know, just wish you all the best. Because I'm curious, you guys have to shout their name. I can't walk in here. What's the name? Say it again. Say What are they confused of? Can I say, ask me what's the name? I said, see everywhere. He said, what do you mean? I said, don't have fire you. We didn't touch now before we toast. Because I carry one girl go to lock. That's not the dance. I don't get happy to go over her. She's a dance. Get, you know that song, Chop My Money? Girls, they take her very seriously. When they play that song, they get the dance, they dance. She doesn't say, as she dance, the team don't lose. The team they dance, they say, as soon as the team don't come from. Only me, I think, say, nah, nah, ask, I try to lose the ass. I told you, ah, the girl, they look me. I said, I wish I had you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's KOD. Please put your hands together for KOD one more time. My name is Hogan, I cook for a living. I've just taken one glass. I don't think I look up again. Put it up for KOD, man. Put it up for KOD. Still at KOD at 35 Rhapsodies, it is, and I'm running into celebrities that are here to commemorate KOD's 35th birthday and uh, BET Award winner and superstar international act Sal Codier is in the building. What's going on, sir? I'm all right. What's up? I'm good. I saw your performance. It was awesome. It was off the hook. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now, briefly, who's KOD to you personally? Um, he's a brother, a friend, everything to me, you know. It's kind of hard to have people to trust in the, in the industry. But he has shown and proven to me that he's always going to be there for me. It started when I had a show with him in Holland. That is when the chemistry started from there till now. You know, he's been hosting my show, Rapaholic, each and every year. And he's been in support. When I do a song, I give it to KOD to listen to it because he's musically inclined as well. So he's like everything to me. Yeah. Yeah, more, more, more excuse here, yeah, you be. You know, I've seen a lot of brothers out here, man. You know, I mean, it's positive. It's happening, man. We are here having fun. I'm here chilling with the beautiful girls, man. Beautiful yeah. sexy lady. Yeah. Do you want to say hello to Tatu? Yeah, hi. Say hello to hi, how are you? I think you. to take Ghana music in that <laughs> Oh, I think he's doing was one of the few guys in Ghana uh, that uh, promote entertainment, that promote especially live band uh, shows, you know. And, uh, you know, he, he's, he's, he's a good guy. I mean, without him, I don't think there'll be, I mean, there'll be, there would, without him, what am I saying? With him or without him? Without him. Without him, there will be no live band. With him, that well, yeah. Anyway, so he's done a lot for the entertainment industry, and you know, I'm, I'm happy he's a, he's a proud son of the country. I've known KOD for, I mean, my entire career period. So I've known him ever since I came into the scene, and he's been supportive for the um, success that I am enjoying right now. So then, in that in that sense, if it's his birthday. Why not be around and represent for him and wish him all the best? So, you know, KOD, we come from way back. Yeah. Okay. Now, real quick, a good little message to KOD to encourage him, you know, so far since, you know, he's just clocked to mid 30. Um, I'll just say, um, big up and keep doing the good work you're doing and keep up the positive attitude towards work and definitely you know how far it will take you. Big up yourself. One love, KOD. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So with the love on clap aboard, it's me, myself, and I, S-A-L-K-O-D-R-E. Stay tuned, over the be bomb baby, let's go. All right. You know some money, no be problem. Honey's on the block. All right, I'm back again. You know what time it is. Straight up. All right, what's up? Listen. I bought him another game, I miss him. The shell, she been on the throat, so winging up. I come up and I teach it in the young Mimbuna. And we simple reason, I do what you did. Again, I've been having so much fun. First of all, I saw the live band performance. Now, each time you hear KOD, you also have to know that the KOD always has its own style. Yes, yeah, so you can tell me that you're here. Okay, you're here. 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 You're here.